So today in this lecture, we are going to discuss about nodal analysis. This is uh, uh, the topic under Unit One, and I am Nidhi Singh, Assistant Professor in Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department in Ajay Kumar Engineering College. So first, we will discuss what is this nodal analysis. So in nodal analysis, like suppose if we have this circuit. Suppose this is voltage V1, this is voltage V2, this resistance is R1, this is R2, this is R3, R4 and R5, right? Now suppose if we want to solve this question uh, by using nodal analysis, if we want to find current in any of the branch, suppose we want to current in R4 or R2, so and uh, the method we have to apply is nodal analysis. So first we have to identify the major nodes or we can say the junction point. So we know, we know what is junction point. Junction point is a point where three or more than three branches meet, right? So we will first we will identify the uh, major node. So we can see that uh, these are the major nodes. Suppose this is node A and this is node B and this will we will take as a reference node. So with reference to this, we will take the voltage here. Uh, now suppose the uh, <coughs> voltage at this particular node is VA. We have assumed a node voltage VA. Here we have assumed node voltage VB. Now how to write the node equation, right? So we know that uh, uh, in node, uh, node uh, analysis, we apply the KCL. That is uh, the incoming current at a junction is equal to outgoing current from the junction. Or we can say the algebraic sum of all the current at a particular junction is zero. So if we want to write, if we want to apply the KCL at node A, so we can write applying KCL at node A. So when we are uh, writing equation for node A, we will assume that node A is at higher potential. So at higher potential, it means we are assuming that all currents are outward because current flow from higher potential to lower potential. So as I am assuming that node A is at higher potential, it means all the current are going outward from this particular node. So uh, now I uh, want to, uh, so suppose the current in this branch is I1, this is I2 and this is I3. So sum of all these current should be equal to zero. Now how to write the equation? We will write VA minus V1. We will write VA minus V1 upon R1 plus we will write this is VA and this reference uh, node will be at potential zero. So we can write VA minus zero. Simply we can write VA minus R2. Sorry, VA by R2 and then plus VA minus VB by R3 and this is equal to 0. So this current is I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. So this VA minus V1 by R1 will give you the value of I1. Similarly, VA by R2 will give you the value of I2 and VA minus VB by R3 uh, will give you the value of I3 and sum of all these current will be equal to 0 as per the uh, KCL. Now we will apply uh, KCL at node 2. So now here I am applying by applying KCL at node B. So applying KCL at node B. So again now as now I am writing equation for node B. Now I will assume that node B is at higher potential. So again, now I am assuming that all currents are going outward, right? So now, uh, now I want to write equation for this particular branch. I have assumed that this is at higher potential. So we'll write VB minus VA upon R3. So now I will write VB minus VB minus VA 
upon R3 plus now for this particular branch I will write VB reference uh, uh, node is at 0 so VB minus 0 by R4 or simply I can write VB upon R4 plus for this particular branch VB minus V2 right VB minus V2 VB minus V2 upon R5. If I change the polarity of this V2, right, change the polarity of this V2, so uh, here you can, uh, then we will get VB plus V2 because this V2 is supporting the VB. So uh, for this particular polarity, we will write VB minus V2 by R5. So after solving this equation, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So after solving these two equations, we can find value of VA and VB, right? We can find value of VA and VB, that is node voltage. Um, uh, and after finding these voltage, we can find easily find the branch current. Suppose if you want to find the current in R4, so what will be the value of current in R4? That will be equal to VB by R4. This is the current, this is the value of current in uh, this uh, resistance R4. Similarly, if you want to find uh, current in R3, so you can do VA minus VB upon R3. So, after finding the node voltage, we can easily find the branch current. So, this is how we can uh, solve the nodal analysis question. So, now we will uh, go with some example. So, I have taken this example and this uh, question uh, was uh, given in a AKTU. Uh, this question is from previous year question paper, AKTU question paper. And this question came in 2022-23, even sem. And uh, in this question, you, know, you have to use nodal analysis to find current in various registers. So you have to find uh, current in each branch here, right? So this is a five ohm resistance. This is five ohm resistance here. So now. You have to you have to write the uh, first the first step is to identify the number of major nodes. So you can see that uh, there are three nodes here. So this is VA. Suppose the node voltage is VA. Here I have supposed node voltage VB, and here this is node voltage is VC. Right now, when I am writing uh, equation for node um, A. I will suppose that this uh, node is at higher potential. So here you can see that this 10 ampere is entering in this in this node, right? This is already a uh, we are writing the equation in the form of current only. So we can write and uh, the, uh, we are taking we are assuming the outward current as positive. So if any current is entering the node, we will take it as negative. So we will write minus 10 plus the current in this particular branch will be this is a reference node right this is a reference node so va minus 0 or we can simply write va by 2 then plus now uh, this branch is also connected with this node so we can write va minus vb because i have assumed that my node a is at higher potential so va minus vb the resistance value is 3 and we can see that one more branch is connected with this VA and this branch is connected between VA and VC, right? So the, this will be equal to VA minus VC upon 5 and according to KCL, this will be equal to 0. So this is my uh, first equation. This is for node A. This is for node A. I have applied the KCL at node A. Now applying KCL at node B. So again, I will assume that my node B is at higher potential. It means all current are uh, going outward, right? So now as this VB is at higher potential, so I will write VB minus VA, VB minus VA upon 3, right? VB minus VA upon 3. Then I will write plus VB minus 0 or VB by 5, then one more branch is connected with this node. So, VB minus VC, VB minus VC by 1. And now we can say that all the three branches which is connected with node B, 
uh, is already included in this equation. So now this is equal to 0, right? Now we'll write this is for node B. I have applied KCL at node B. Now applying KCL at node C. Now applying KCL at node C. So now I will assume that this node C is at higher potential, right? So it means all current are going outward and here we can see that this current source is connected with this node C and the current direction is outward. So we will take this 2 ampere as positive. So I will write plus 2 plus I will write for this branch this 4 ohm. So VC this is connected with the reference node. So VC minus 0 or simply I can write VC by 4. Then plus I can write Vc minus Vb, Vc minus Vb, the resistance value is 1 ohm. Then plus, now you can see that from this node, this branch is also connected, right? We have included this one, this one and this one. Now this branch is also connected. So we can write Vc minus Va. This branch is connected between C and A. So I will write Vc as I have assumed that now my C, uh, node is at higher potential. So, I will write Vc minus Va upon 5 and this is equal to 0, right? So, we have three unknown variables that is Va, Vb and Vc and now we have three equations. This is equation 1, this is equation 2 and this is equation 3, right? So, after solving these three equations, we can find the value of Va, Vb and Vc. And after finding the value of Va, Vb and Vc, we can easily find current in all the branches. So, after solving this equation, we will get, uh, so this is Va, this is Vb and this is Vc. So, we get this potential. So, how to solve? So, I am writing here, I have V A is V1 and V B is V2 and V C is V3, right? So, here it is written in terms of V1, V2 and I have assuming V A, uh, B and C. So, current in, um, current I1, that is current in this 2 ohm. So, current in this 2 ohm will be equal to what? This V A upon 2. So, V A value, we have already find the V A value. So, this is the current value in this 2 ohm resistance. This current value is in this 3 ohm resistance. So, in this 3 ohm resistance, we have current I2. In this, we have I1. And in 5 ohm resistance, in this 5 ohm resistance, we have current 1.65. And um, in this 1 ohm resistance, we have current this 1.3 ampere. Then in, uh, sorry, V2 by 5, yes. So, we have this 1.02, then in 4 ohm, we have 0 0.95 ampere, right? Okay. So, these are the current value. After solving this, we can find current in all the branches. Now, we will take uh, next example. This is again from the previous year AQ2 paper. This uh, question came in 2022-23 and the same question came in even sum also and in odd sum also. So, uh, when solve and in this question, we have to find current in various branches for the circuit shown in figure. Again, in this question, we have to find current in all the branches, right? So, uh, here you can see the major nodes are here, this node B and node C. These are the major node and this is the reference node, right? We will take this as a reference node. So, if I am assuming potential at this is VB and here I am assuming potential is VC. So, again, uh, uh, if I am writing um, equation for node B, again, I will assume that uh, my this, uh, this node, this particular node is at higher potential, means all current is going outward. So, I am assuming that all current is going outward. So, I will write this as uh, for node B, if I am applying KCL at node B, so I can write VB minus 100 because this is at uh, positive. So, we can write VB minus 100 upon 20. Then for this branch, I can write Vb upon 10. Then plus Vb minus Vc. 
right i can write vb minus vc so we'll write vb minus vc upon 15 and from this particular node three branches are connected and uh, three terms are here right three terms are eight means i have uh, included all branches so this will be equal to zero now i am right applying kcl at node c so node c again i will assume that this node c has higher potential it means all current are going um, in outward direction so as vc is now at higher potential so i will write vc minus vb by 15 so i will write vc minus vb by 15 then plus vc by 10 then plus vc now here you can see that this is a uh, here we are getting uh, here uh, this is a, a negative terminal so it means it is uh, supporting our convention so this is vc plus 80 upon 10 is equal to 0 right so we have two unknown and two unknowns are vb and vc and here we have two equations first this first equation and this is second equation so after solving this equation we will get a value of vb and vc and then we can find current in each branch suppose we want to find we want to find current in 20 ohm so this is the current value of 20 ohm right so here in question only this is given i1 so this is value of i1 and this vb is uh, value of i3 and this sorry this is value of i2 and this uh, one is value of i3 right if we do vb minus vc by 15 you will get the value of i3 and if it is coming negative if the current value is coming negative it means the direction we have assumed is uh, not correct the current is uh, flowing in opposite direction right so suppose if i have assumed that uh, the current direction is from b to c according to my convention but the answer for i3 is coming negative it means the current is flowing from c to b right so after solving these two equation we will get vb is equal to 15 volt and vc is equal to min minus 26.25 and after solving for i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 we will get this value so these are the current for each branch right so here you can see that this current value is coming in negative so this value is coming in negative so i have taken the convention in the downward direction but it is coming negative it means the current is not going from c to f but current is going from f to c the current direction is from f to c right okay so now uh, taking the uh, next question uh, determine the current by nodal method through two ohm register for the network uh, shown below so here again you have to uh, find uh, the current by using nodal method and uh, in this uh, two ohm resistance and this question is also from the previous year aket paper uh, from uh, 2022-23 so here already the node voltages are mentioned in this question so we have just to write the equation so for applying kcl at uh, node a so again i am assuming that this node is at higher potential means all the current are going outward so you can write va minus 20 va minus 20 by 1 then plus va by 1 then plus va minus vb by 0 0.5 and this will be equal to 0 right this will be equal to 0 now applying kcl at node b right kcl at node b so again i am assuming that this node b is at higher potential so if vb is at higher potential so obviously i will write vb minus va upon 0 0.5 plus vb minus 0 this is this reference is at 0 potential by 2 then plus vb minus 20 vb minus 20 by 1 is equal to 0 so 
देर आर टू अन नोन दैट इज वी एंड वी बी सो आफ्टर सॉल्विंग फॉर दिस वी एंड वी बी वी कैन इजली फाइंड करंट इन टू ओम सो करंट इन टू ओम करंट इन टू ओम विल बी इक्वल टू वी बी बाय टू सो आफ्टर सॉल्विंग वी ए इज कमिंग इलेवन वोल्ट वी बी इज कमिंग ट्वेल्व वोल्ट सो करंट इन टू ओम रेजिस्टेंस विल बी दिस इज वी बी बाय टू सो वी बी इज ट्वेल्व वोल्ट सो दिस इज कमिंग सॉरी दिस इज करंट सो सिक्स एम्पेयर राइट so current is coming 6 ampere right so this is how we can apply the uh, nodal analysis and we can solve the question so these are the references which i have referred for this uh, lecture thank you very much jai hind